podcast. All right, it's good to be back home. I don't, I, I have no idea when this is gonna this this podcast. I shouldn't even say we're home. Because we did, uh, I think, 11 different podcasts in Vegas. So they'll go out as they go out. But the James Inman one, ones, the James, the the Inman, the after Inman. And this is a follow-up. It's the, it's the Inman trilogy in two parts. <laughs> all Inman, all the fucking time. Uh, if you, uh, I hope you listen to the last Inman podcast where... <laughs> Because we put bonus footage of the uh, next day phone messages, voice messages from James Inman. <laughs> I'm not reading the emails because they're screeds. It's all about this documentary he made nine years ago. Well, he didn't make it. He knew a guy that wanted to make it. So he now he takes full credit for calling that guy. You know, having listened and uh, just coming from uh, going through the initial editing, listening to and cataloging what's been said, uh, he he he's obviously do doing his own his like revisionist history of what happened. Because what what? Oh, yeah. So I, I mean, it just I went back and I listened to like I hope it weren't too hard on the guy. We gave him a lot of outs until like, hey, just drop it. Let's go on to the next thing. I mean, that one whole podcast which left me in stitches. I had called Doug immediately. Was just Doug and Chad and Andy and Matt Becker, which is a great roundtable, and and Inman, but Inman is saying the whole time, "Fuck you, let's let's talk about." And you guys had conversations about food, things to do in Vegas, the little booklets, and who's using the the coupons. Where we just the best won't make eye contact. There's, and you we can you can tell no one's making eye contact during the podcast, and he is at. Fever pitch the whole time. Stop it! Oh, he got it to a point where he stood on his chair, screaming down. We ignore him, and then slowly we just walk out. And the whole thing him. reminded me of a South Park episode where everybody ignores Cartman and he thinks he's dead. <laughs> you guys, I'm here. It's me. I'm blowing on your hair. He would not <laughs> stop trying yeah. to. No, no, it's not funny anymore. It's not funny anymore. I hope that the listeners got what we were going for there because i mean what we we're going for was could have just gone in the fucking dumper like a lot of the podcast but it's as i'm listening i'm laughing the whole time going the levels are fucked he's like so over modulated but at the same time i'm like this is so funny because of the the sustained level at which inman does it and you guys are never never like really raising your voices <laughs> you're having a conversation <laughs> with a maniac <laughs> screaming in your faces well <laughs> If, if you've heard those uh, those voice messages and then uh, imagine two emails that went with it that are so long. At one point, he lists all the friends he lost because he did that documentary. You didn't do the documentary, James. Yeah, that was, that was... You met a guy that w was willing to do the documentary. I didn't like how it turned out, but that's fine. I mean, I, I like to watch it because they're my friends. Yeah. I would have done it differently. And that's what I said to him after we get them all wound up. <laughs> so after he's removed by the <laughs> security and the yeah. police, you think the next day you wake up having been been thrown out of fucking Las Vegas by... <laughs> By the casino and sheriff, and, a sheriff yeah, the, in the tow, casino like just security in case. head, two guards, and a sheriff watch you leave the premises. You're <laughs> thrown onto a plane. You think you wake up the next morning and go, "Wow, I really fucked up this time." No, he doubled down. <laughs> we started this thing, all caps. No, oh, we didn't. They, they actually, I, uh, I got more details because I was fresh from from editing. Uh, the sheriff and the two security from the plaza stood in the parking garage, like like where the doors part and that blast of hot air comes in, and then you walk to your car all dejected. The security stayed there until they fucking drove out of the building. I think we covered this on the. Uh, oh, I'm just aftermath saying. I didn't know podcast. if you if you knew that. That that's that's definitely. Uh, but the great part about the voice. <laughs> message and your friend what's his name chad shank yeah. you know fuck that guy you know what he said to me he, he kills homeless people <laughs> what? The, the backstory to this <laughs> what uh. now, now i i have to say this right now 
I know that that's not what Chad said. I know. I, I, he said but it. But at he, the same time, Chad, like all he that, could do, that's a big part of his messaging to Doug was that this is the this is the kind of people you're hanging out with, Doug. Don't well, you see how listen, horrible these people are? That's the least part that bothers me <laughs> at all because but, but that's I the just part that's missing But I want to just explain because I heard when you were sitting next to... Well, when yeah, he, I went... When he was getting ramped up early, he was talking to Joanne Savoie before the podcast, and I heard him t talk in religion. And they were evidently agreeing, but somehow Inman was still arguing. And he's going on about his Buddhist fucking philosophy shit. He has a bunch of conflicting philosophies. But at one point, uh, I, uh, Chad said, well, you know... Uh, uh, with the, uh, we I remember what I said because I was trying to fucking be somewhat funny. I was around a bunch of funny fucking people. <laughs> and I, somebody asked me about Vegas, and I said, Vegas is a bad place for me to be. Not because just because there's so many people, but because there's so many people that nobody will miss. And I was trying to make a fucking joke playing off the fucking fact. And then I went on to say, you know, well, it's fucking... I was talking to James Inman, and we're all one, so what the fuck difference does it make? No, Who he, it is? He, said, he said, well, according to Inman, we're all one, so if I feel like hurting myself, I can just kill a homeless guy because we're all one people. We're in all a one. room full of comics yes. or in a room was, that is, is uh, highly... Uh, I wasn't being yeah, yeah, funny, but I was appreciative fucking of that kind of humor. Being, it was hyperbole yeah. it was on the fucking on monster that I actually am. Yeah, it, it was, was fucking ridiculous. It was goofing on his philosophies, his long-winded, disjointed... That's philosophies the, that's the least part of inman's fucking messages that bother me he called me and he called me a narc <laughs> at one point he called three of us a narc to be fair but i was uh, one listen, of the three guys uh, i take jurisdiction here i'm cia thanks for your help we'll call you if we need you listen james inman should fucking be careful because he is he gets away with this shit because he's a lunatic well, guess what, Inman? I'm a fucking lunatic, too, but my <laughs> lunacy shows itself in different ways than yours. So if you were paranoid that I was a cop, wait till you find out who the fuck I really am and who I know in your town. Because you want to talk shit to me publicly? When you were crying like a bitch, hugging me, I hugged you back, even though I didn't know you, because I fucking felt bad, because I'm a lunatic, too, so I get it. Sometimes I cry like a bitch. Not in front of all my fucking friends, usually. <laughs> in Vegas. Ruining the party. You know, you know not, <laughs> not, not, not to get attention, you fucking bitch. But, anyways... About a documentary you made nine years ago that I just said I uh, he was didn't in. Care for. Get, read, he was get ready in. for fucking paranoia level two because I'm gonna start <laughs> letting you know who I really am and who I know that knows you because I already know people that know you. So don't fucking. Uh, that, that was one never of, mind. That was one of his messages. He goes, and you, you don't fucking write shit about me on Twitter because I know you better than anyone. I know you. You're fucking fraud. I know you better than anyone. No one knows your secrets better than I do, Stan and, Hope. Yeah, and the other one was about the unbookables. We tried to do the unbookables as the same way they did uh, you know, the blue-collar comedy tour. Like, just all the fuck-ups. That's, that's what started it. And then he found a guy to try to make a documentary out of it. But he, he goes, uh, he, he said... When you had the unbookables, you like uh, you forced me to be part of it. Something to that effect, or uh, you made a union, and you go, no one will like you if you don't become one of the unbookables. And, it, and he said, uh, God, what was it? He goes, you called me. You put a page on your website with the unbookables, and then you called me and said, James, what do I do about this unbookables? Yeah, <laughs> you're my go-to guy for advice, James Inman. I would have called you and said, listen. What do we do with this? I got I made this whole mess, James, and I need you to How just, do we how do we steer clear? What do we do? But his We're headed for the rocks. We're going to lose this grand idea. Inman, help me out. <laughs> but his delusions are is that's his delight. <laughs> I, I see Inman as a as Harvey Keitel in Pulp Fiction. Gentlemen, if I'm Kurt, it's only because I feel time is of the essence. We can we can totally secure this Unbookable's branding and and get it on the right course. I mean, come on, give me a fucking break. <laughs> but uh, I will. I did include in the two podcasts previous to this. I did include the uh, screenshots from when I had 
bought the website. I created it, the Unbookables, and I put up a really basic thing. And I put, I'll put the cover page up there. It's put pages up there already. Listen, we don't. I'm have just to saying, win this if argument. you want to see what's going, I mean, it, to the nth degree. In 2005, I think I, I gave up on the the name, the Unbookables, in 2009 or whatever, and Oof. then then it just it just lapsed. Uh, you know why we gave up on the name? Well, yeah, because of that movie. It had been drugged through the mud. They never yes. even asked me for the for the website, the URL. They had a movie, and then it just it just expired. Well, I could have just turned it over on to a them. A bunch of things now. It's out on some AOL streaming thing. It's on sure. PlayStation. We're selling it on the website because I bought all the extra uh, unbookables DVDs that he couldn't sell at the dive bar. I bought all of them. Really? Yeah. Well, that's probably how he could afford to stay another night. They sell. They sell on the website. I found some. We f- sell those on the website. I sold eight that I had here because Andy oh, left. Oh, now you're going to sell the rest. Well, and it's I'll sell them anyway. I don't even have to. I'm, cu- I'm Shaley. Cut this out. I actually, <laughs> I told I told him before the show. Look, if, if you don't, I need those. You can't buy them online anymore. But people want them. I just, you know, I. Help out all the comics like you. You and I like to do that when it comes to oh uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> comedy of killer shirts. Boy, you took a bath on those, didn't you, Andy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I bought all those fucking things too, and they're just sitting in the fucking in the warehouse. Look at Inman has us all wound up days oh, later. Oh shit! <laughs> We're gonna be doing people's court dun, with dun, uh, dun. Uh, Derek and Bree. <laughs> uh, we'll be doing that after the break. I just I I have just random notes. Got the surgery set for the ninth. I don't know if this will September 9th. This might not be out. We have so many fucking podcasts. This could jump because of the urgency with the Inman thing. So the urgency, <laughs> the fucking bone zone. I wanted to plug that. That we we that that'll be in a podcast. That's that might coming have to up. wait, but yeah. we listen to it on the way home. Find uh, yeah, just listen to the bone zone. That's Brendan Walsh and Randy Litke. I'll do the thanks at the break because there's a million. Tom Kanopka was fucking great. Uh, I fucking I got I got nothing but fucking. There's too much Inman and too many podcasts. <laughs> this could go out before the Inman ones as a precursor. I t- I, t- I tweeted that and then he that fired him up the next day. I said. James Inman loved loved the Las Vegas Plaza Hotel so much it took the ch- yeah. ch- chief of sec- head of security, two guards, and a deputy sheriff sheriff's deputy to convince him it was time to go. His, his response to that is where he calls us one of us a narc. There was nobody on my floor, so one of me, oh yeah, Stanhope, Shaley, or Shank is a narc. Yeah, <laughs> no. From what I heard, you were screaming at Mamu using the word "he's raping you" a lot. So that probably <laughs> triggered somebody to call. All right, let's. You know what? I'm, I'm breaking early. It's fucking hot. Let's oh. crank down that fucking AC, and then we'll get to People's Court with Bree and Derek. <laughs> TheShadyDell.com. That is where you stay. If you come to Bisbee and you're staying at the Shady Dell and I'm in town, I will have a beer with you. I won't hang out that long. We're not going to be good friends. I don't want you to fucking tell me you're going to kill yourself. But if you're staying at the ShadyDell.com, vintage trailer park with all 50s, 60s trailers that we live a mile away from and we look for reasons to go stay there, come to the ShadyDell.com. Sponsored by... I might even come in and uh, clean your toilet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in a Cochise County court. Both parties have agreed to dismiss their court cases and have their dispute settled here, in our forum, the Funhouse Court. (laughs) All right, we have, as you probably know from reading the papers, our our, uh, plaintiff, Bree, says that the defendant, on the night of such and such a while ago, (laughs) did thereby uh, uh, assault her and give her a small sore on her lip. Well, now we might know what that 
that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awkwardly, here on the Funhouse Court, the defendant, Derek for mayor, shows up with a very large screaming sore on his lip that has <laughs> precluded him from being past the pipe. <laughs> this, the, we forgot to do the part where Doug Llewellyn names the case. It could be called herpes or your peas. <laughs> herpes or herpes. <laughs> herpes or herpes. Uh, sorry, I'm not as good as this. You. I don't, I, <laughs> so, uh, so on the night in question, Derek has already read a statement uh, when, when his name was read from the police beat. Why don't we read the police beat one more time so everyone gets a refresher of what, how the... Uh, okay. Go ahead, Go ahead. Read the date. August 11th. Derek Barger, 40, Bisbee, was booked into jail, charged with disorderly conduct and domestic violence. And that's uh, what we read. Derek read a statement, probably rambled a bit. I'm not sure. But uh, we did. Uh, they did go to court. Bree did drop the restraining order, went to court. And we decided we'd handle it here in the Funhouse Forum, even though you still have some bullshit you have to do. Uh, so, uh, Bree, let's start with you. J'accuse. What happened on that night of August 11th in the year of our Lord, 2016? Well, like any good story, it, it started with day drinking. I think that was the, <laughs> the issue. Um, don't look at me like that. I was going to have Chad Shank actually take the middle mic so you didn't keep yeah, looking at him for at answers. <laughs> I can bailiff this. You, 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 you. I'm, so, looking, I'm um, looking at the pipe. So I, so, um, I said a few words to, to Derek. Um, a few words. Kind of from the well, heart. Words are nothing from new the heart, between you. From the heart. And uh, getting a little tiff. Uh, little tiff. Can we establish um, that you guys are living together? You have the same address? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And oh, we're more than living together. <laughs> well, you're sharing we share court dates, arms and legs mean. and brains at this point. But yeah. So, um, so that might be part of the problem. But nonetheless, um, I, I shared a few words. So Didn't you're, you're making well. no uh, 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 sense. Day drinking, <laughs> angry, oh, just pissy. You're I get admitting it. Just that like, you were fuck heavily you, intoxicated. You fucking suck. Yeah. Um, speaking from the heart, you know. And um, was Derek drinking at all? Yes, as, as you Derek recall, was. As you recall. Yes, okay. Derek was. Now, I know that no. Derek uh, will dispute that, but I'll, you'll, he'll wait his turn. No, I'm just, okay. we're just establishing what, what her, her frame of reference on the day of question. So, I'll um, take notes. So, I think, you know, it started with a little, yeah, a little verbal abuse. Now, Derek is trying to uh, get his stuff out. At this point. Well, when we got to that point, Derek's like, yeah, I want my cell phone. And I'm like, sure, you can. Well, because wait, I wait, had no, locked no. the doors. No, I had to lock the doors. I he locked the doors. He was going to leave to stay somewhere else for the night. Right. Bringing his Here. stuff out, according to what we know. <laughs> right. And that's when, uh, allegedly, this assault occurred. So what happened is Derek's, Derek's uh, trying to get his shit. And mainly a cell phone. And I had previously locked the doors, and he's like giving my shit. And so he tries to come in through the window, which Derek doesn't remember, but I do. There's little bits and pieces that I remember. He tries to come through the window, didn't work out. So I opened it, uh, I opened the door, gave him a cell phone, and then got kind of thrown down. I don't know how you, you know, you threw me down. And, you know, I, I'm not gonna Please lie. don't I talk to uh, I might have, I might have, that's right. We're all whopping her. I, I might have, I might have, I might have punched him in the arm a few times prior to that. So I necessarily like can't say I blame him, but um, but objectively, he wanted his phone. I opened the door, and then I went down. Okay. And then I called the Bisbee police. The Bisbee police. The now Bisbee Derek police. has left the scene. Uh, according to uh, the testimony I have from Derek, Derek left the scene to go set up a tent. You called, asked for uh, some uh, prescription Xanax. drugs that he had with him. <laughs> Loud and proud Xanax. Give had you already Xanax. called the police? Uh, yes. Yes, I had. Okay. Yes, I had. And, and so that was an issue. But he had 
taken the Xanax and I wanted it back. Um, I, 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 and go so ahead. Go he ahead. came I, I have a question. To, yes. Did you, uh, did you call the police before Derek left the property or after? Uh, I called the police after Derek left the property. Yeah, okay. after that issue with the door. Um, but before he came back, you'd, you'd already called him when he came back to bring you the Xanax, at which point I did, yeah, he was, it was like, bring me some Xanax. Do we get cross, I have a text message. Will we be having cross, time for cross-examination, or yes. do I just, okay. Well, yeah. Let's, so Derek left the property, yeah. then you called the police. Correct. Then you called Derek for Xanax. Exactly. Got I said, it. leave it in the then, mailbox. Then Derek comes I'm back. I'm done with my what? questions. Then Derek comes back. I'm done with the whole thing. Am I the only <laughs> one that's judgmental? <laughs> Hang on. We got to get uh, Derek's side of the story again or his uh, others, her, uh, his next story again. New story. Derek, uh, you say that uh, I believe on the last, uh, when, when we read that into the in your statement, I believe you were saying that she was blacked out drunk and misremembered that you had roughed her up. Well, stuff happened. I can describe it. Uh, but you, first of all, well, that would be a first in this the, podcast. The, 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 I, I started off thinking I might understand more of what happened being part of this the, podcast since I listened to the first the, one, and I'm still just as lost. De Derek said that he only had two beers, but he stunk of beer because that's he hadn't eaten that day or drank water. Um, I, I, oh, I forget where to start. Um, the drinking thing. This would thing. have been so much more actually, fun if we had done it that night or the day after. Actually, tried. drinking thing. Um, I remember looking in the refrigerator at 4 o'clock and there was no beer because we buy beer daily. We don't drink it and, or leave. There's not beer the next day. And I looked in the refrigerator. I don't know where Bree was all that day. How were you day drinking? Uh, no, let's get to you and your. You I, say I was you at home. Drinking. She said I was that you at were home. Definitely drinking. I was at home alone. There was no beer in the refrigerator. I only had eighteen dollars in my uh, checking account, so I didn't buy beer. Bree came home, pretty inebriated. She, I think, she brought some liquor with her. Uh, I had all of my camping gear set around the the uh, washing machine in the kitchen. I had all my camping gear set there so I could take it out to the car. And she came home and spent an hour yelling at me. Like she said, she, she just yelled at me for an hour. I didn't argue back with her this entire night. I never argued back with her. I never said words back to her. I was just trying to get my stuff and get out of the house. I, I realize now that I should have just left my stuff because it doesn't matter what I had with me. You know, I could so you know, the, the things were shitty enough that you were going to go camp out at Betty's place anyway. Somewhere, at least Betty. You know, I was headed to Betty's. Because it doesn't make sense that she wasn't home all day and you were planning on going camping. Shit must have already. I was, been I was already happening. planning on leaving. I had my camping gear, gear was stacked in the kitchen when Bree came home. Okay, so this had been an ongoing thing. But you, she says you were drunk. You say you weren't drunk. You I told didn't have us any money or beer that day. Well, you had two beers, no water. I had two beers here when I after the uh, she called the cops and I came here. She, I had two beers with backdoor Mike. I slammed the first one, and then I sat there and smoked a cigarette, and then I drank okay, the so second you, one. You're saying after she called the cops, so you're saying you were dead sober, dead sober, stoned. Stone okay, so, so here's where I'm going to interject. Go and this is where I'm had no just going to kind of fucking just let's let's do this. Go. So, uh, so from what I hear that evening, you know, you came over here and Bree's a block out drunk and she's such a drunk and fucker. Here's say your honor. I don't know why I'm like being. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 I and by the way, I don't like deny that. I'm fine. Like I get that. I accept that's who I am. I block since out. Since we've times known you, drink. you've yeah, made fucking, no. Uh, uh, yeah, it happens. Bones since, about drunk. since your original you know? testimony six minutes ago uh you were both drinking and you were verbally abusive to each other early in the day so, i i but i initiated it and i'll take total okay. responsibility but i'm gonna say this but Continue. i'm gonna say this if i am such a blackout drunk if i have problems if if there's an issue that night where i am in a state and you know me mentally have not been very well for you to come back to this blackout drunk girl that you make fun of and fucking come and try to fucking start shit with me. 
That to me is a fucking dick move. And that's a fucking super dick move. Because if you are so aware and enlightened about my behavior and uh, which obviously you're above <laughs> you don't ever black out you don't ever whatever you know you don't you don't ever try to he disappear from your life by smoking shatter fucking 45 times a day all right um if that's the case then why would you come and fuck with a blackout drunk who's got problems wait, why the wait, wait, fuck uh, would this, you this, okay, this and, returning and, that and win, I love you, win. and I'm always gonna love you, but I hate you for that. Win. Because. Free. Win. Free. Free. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, hang on. Go ahead, Mr. <laughs> Shank. I, I was just trying to clarify because this returning, was that when you called him and told him to return with Xanax? I texted him. That and was I have the dick text. Move? I have a text, and I said, bring the Xanax back. I believe back. she was saying that the dick move was that he came over here and talked about what how uh, she was such a blackout drunk. Right. Uh, he's, she's saying the dick move is him talking shit behind her back when he's high all the no, fucking time. No, 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 no. The dick mm. move is the dick move is coming is, is you know what is is sharing with anybody besides your girlfriend who you love, right? That you can't fucking talk to me if you think there's a fucking problem, which clearly there was. I ain't fucking denying shit. Was, but if I'm a blackout drunk and you're over here talking to who the fuck ever, and she's got fucking issues, fuck that. You fucking first of all, fucking tell no, her no, who I talk to. No, you tell first. Her. Of Derek, time, Derek, one at a time. Derek, well, first I of all, she's... you talk to me. You don't go over to my house, our house, and exploit the fuck out of a blackout drunk because that to me is fucking shitty. And if you knew I was in a shitty place mentally and fucking suicidal, you know exactly the shit I've been dealing with for the past fucking seven months. You come over there to fucking egg shit on, to look for this, to look for that, and to exploit me further, to fucking make me feel worse because you know I'm not going to respond well because I'm shit faced and I'm not even fucking thinking straight. Oh. You know okay. What I mean? it's, uh, uh, all right, Derek, uh, uh, go ahead. Do your best to respond. And, and by under the way, the and, and I will say one more thing: if you were sober, why the fuck would you do that? Yeah. If you were sober, why the fuck would you come over and exploit again a blackout drunk that needs fucking help? When? Why the fuck would you do that? When? If you were sober. When? Because to me, when? that's literally, some fucking, when was he sober? literally, when? that's some fucking when? abusive Which shit. Which time? Which time? When? when? That's, that's what I, that is. was my question. Was that and, when and, you and called him to come Decorum. You're in, a, you're in a court of the fun house. Go ahead, Chad. I'll, I'll, not, I'll not tolerate these outbursts. Black, black, black. I'll clear this fun house bar. I'm trying to remain a diplomat court. still. I think we, we already have did. some to go, I think. But... <laughs> I'm trying to piece the story together. So far, Derek's provided the most details and linear story. Uh, I I uh, take umbrage with that because honestly, I have to ask Bree. Uh, Bree, when Derek, after everything happened from when you alleged that you were both drinking, and he obviously it's he said she said at this point, uh, when he tried to crawl in the window to get his phone. You opened the door. Something happened. He left the property. You knew he was leaving the property. You stated that Derek left the property. Then you called the police, which you're within your right to do that if you felt physically in danger or anything like that. We shall never do but it again. But then you called him to come back. And did you tell him that you had called the police? He didn't. From previous testimony, I could look back in the text messages, but I'm pretty sure he was aware that the cops were called. Um, now you didn't offer that. I don't, but and I know, you don't I'm actually not sure. recall I'm it. Not from, sure. Okay, I'm not sure. So I can't, I Derek can't say left the enough. property. Yeah, physical threat is gone. Not that it didn't happen. You called the cops, and then you asked him to come back, and you gave a reason other than to speak to the police that you could recall. Now I, I'm gonna. I'll just, I'll take uh, on Derek's side. Derek said that uh, Derek that uh, during that moment, the two day period where this was a big kerfuffle. Uh, you thought you were set up. She was setting you up to using the Xanax as an excuse to get you arrested because the cop was right there. You never had contact with her. Right, I pulled up and they arrested me. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah, so then he, he didn't know. 
Then you didn't know, yeah. And and I, came back, under the, I came back under the guise no, I, that I, there was I, no I, reason the cops would fucking arrest me because I had not physically assaulted anybody. So there's no... F- even if she said, I'm calling the cops, I didn't know she was going to say that she was physically assaulted. Derek. And I came back under the guise... She's in an argument. ...that I'm Come bringing on. her some Xanax and that maybe even if she had called the cops, they came and she talked to them like she had in the previous times when she called them. And just talk to him. I mean, uh, previous times, uh, uh, the, that was Kenny who. Uh, is, what she called the cops we before have to that. Call him as a witness, he's here. Bree called the cops before that. For what? I have called the cops on you um, to this day three times. Um, and is that uh, it? <laughs> um, In- including this time. The thing is, the three thing times, is, excuse me, three times including this time. Uh, or yeah. Two previous. Three including. Three. Yeah. What were the two yeah. previous, if I might ask? Uh. One briefly. was um, the, first time. the first time. Yeah, there's been a few. So uh, one, I actually tried to call the cops and I, I couldn't get a hold of the cops because apparently it was after hours for the cops and they don't work. And literally, I'm not joking. I and I had a friend try to call the cops for me, um, and they could not get through. Uh, and this was the, the well. You've heard the police episode. beat. You know how busy they well, are. No, this there was, was, a, this was he, he broke the bedroom door down, dude. I mean, he like literally broke the bedroom door. It's like the shining kind of shit. Like fucking, you broke that shit down. Don't With deny. Don't deny. You broke it. No, down. No, I just went through it. But I have the, the shining. <laughs> I and, have and scars so on my arm were, from where she had and he was and and thrown. why he did this was because he was mad because I was talking to an ex boyfriend who's a good friend for twelve sixteen hours that day and then antagonized me the entire day and then walked in the bedroom <laughs> and locked the door. If, if we can, you know what? Actually, okay, as a blackout wait. drunk. Okay, so but I'm I want to. I want to hear about him going through the door. We're gonna take turns here. Wait, no, which which, which uh, police call are we on now? Right now, one. One. This is the where first one. Yeah, honeymoon. This, this honeymoon. is where you honeymoon b- broke ended. through a door on a rental property. <laughs> With an axe, because she said the shining, oh. and I think that's, that's, that's kind of tainted his the best. jury. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't like just the shining. It, it was, was his best, yeah. Unless he has an Academy Award, then it'd be exactly like It the was shining. pretty fucking awesome. I mean, I, I got I banked through the door, and, and I was <laughs> like, hi. I, said, I just waved and said, hi. It, it was so impressive. that's like the shining? I, I just, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't... Here's, <laughs> and he can't remember his own name. <laughs> Um, so, so that was that now that day, that, that day she was on the phone with their ex-boyfriends for about 12 hours and just fucking antagonized me in the, the entire time okay. and then went into the bedroom, locked the door and just started laughing, <laughs> cackling. And I was like, I don't need this door in the way. And I just <laughs> fucking made it go away. And I said, hi. I did, what did I do when the door was gone? I, I said, said hi. here's Johnny. No, I said, hi. <laughs> you said exactly. It's exactly what you said. Hi. We're creepy. Okay. okay? Second time. Let's go. We're going to But wait, it. wait, wait. I think there's a precursor to this because this is really funny. No. And Kenny knows this. Okay. And Kenny knows everyone I'm talking about. He was there the day after and he was like, what the fuck happened to your door? And That's what happened to Hand and door. So, so what happened oh, was Kenny earlier. Asked, hey, what happened to your hand? And what happened to your door? Earlier, and he couldn't put it together. <laughs> earlier, that, that's why we're here to earlier that these day, cases. Derek, um, Derek was. Uh, it was Gene was over. Floyd was over. We're all having a good time. And I had said something because this is who I am, and I think sometimes Derek's got a little problem with like how I speak. And and so I was saying something to Gene or to Floyd, and I was like, yeah, you know, like I fuck everybody mentally when I see them, I first meet them, you know. And he flew off the handle and was like, fuck you and fuck you, you want to fuck your fucking boyfriend and fuck you. And then he looked at Gene and Floyd and was like, fuck you and fuck you. And then I like just go into the kitchen and start crying, and I'm just like, fuck this, whatever. And they're like, we're going. And then. It started after that. Like, I was okay. literally fucking sober, fucking, there was no shit, and you fucking lost your shit, dude. You can't deny okay, it. Okay, all did. right, all right. Let's get to the second part, unless you have something to add. About which part, uh, particularly? I think we need at least his response to the first call. Yeah, okay. Which she just de- detailed with Floyd and Gene. With in the, the I fuck everybody with in my eyes when I first meet them. It's just that she was, that too. She was right, antagonizing. You had, you had, you've had your chance. Kenny wasn't so good in my mind. <laughs> she was antagonizing <laughs> me that entire day. She was either on the phone or making fun of me and then calling somebody and on the phone. And then after about 12 hours of her being on the phone and just just antagonizing me and pushing my okay, buttons. we've got that. That's, she uh, went in the bedroom and... 
and locked the door and just started cackling. And I'm like, I don't need this door I, in a way. All right. So th- that's your, your Derek, story again. Let's let's just whatever. We'll skip bury it. But I wasn't call. cackling. We'll I was can actually I, worried, and that's you? why I locked the bathroom door and the goddamn bedroom door. By the way. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. There was no uh, fucking laughing. So okay, okay. Right. Right. we got to. We got to. at this up. point. Okay. Can, you, can you? Can either? Either of you tell me just can we make this really quickly? Funny at all? Like, <laughs> God damn it! I'm trying. Listen, uh, what is the what is the time frame between that first call and this most recent call that that ended up with Derek going to jail? How uh, just a, a, a kind of a ballpark? It, honestly, it's been like every three months that I think I've. So made a call. it's been nine months total. Right. Yeah, you had three calls. Yeah, because I've lived here for nine months, and it's been about every three months there's so, an issue. Yeah. So within th- nine months, yeah. you've had three calls. And I'm that, not that's innocent. It. Thank you, you for answering. I'm not- for the sake of brevity, I'm going to skip the second call. We're going to get back to the incident in question that uh, you uh, have a current pending Cochise County court case. Fuck, Derek's I wasn't paying a, attention. We haven't been talking about that? No, no, no. Fuck. We went back, right, and there's right, the right, time right. Kenny called Good. the cops. We now covered that. A, is the second time when Kenny called the cops, or was there a second time when you called the cops? Um, this, there was, I'm Irrelevant. talking about the times that I've called Move the cops. Move to strike. You times. were threatening to call the cops one night after you beat the hell out of me, and then I said, this what are you going to tell them when they get... This is not a discussion get, when, between you two. This well, is, we're trying to get to the facts. I, I actually have a question, like, uh, she beat the hell out of me for uh, about an hour, and she she nodding. And then she said, "I'm calling the cops." And I said, "What are you going to tell them when when they get here?" And you know what, Derek? To be honest with you, I'm just going to throw it out there for my uh, blackout drunk behavior that occurred the last time. That was one of your options was to call the cops, and instead you came in and and just made it worse by, "Oh, I need my phone, or I need this, I need this bag." You could have called the cops right. on me, and why didn't you fucking do that? I never involved a man in my life. Oh, look at, uh, uh, order in the back of the court. The back of the court my, is asked and, and answered. My decision was made about five minutes in. So. Look, at, you know, neither Wait, of us. Uh, Bree, I have, okay. I, I, I still have to, uh, have to bring up my, my. I'm on Bree's side, and I love Bree, and I understand her, and I, I was fucking completely mentally ill, so where I couldn't have co- hold on a conversation for seven years. Are you years. trying to plead insanity in this case? <laughs> Because no, I'm trying Derek, to Derek, please. The what my my big beef was you after you got out of jail, trying to relax over here, tried to convince me and others that you had not touched her at all. She had blacked out to the point that she thought you she she misremembered. Hang on, let me finish because that's as as an alcoholic, I know that's not how blackouts work. You remember bits and pieces of things that happened, or you don't remember anything. I'll explain you don't after think the break. That you go, oh shit, did I drive home last night? Fuck, I kind of remember driving. You don't remember. And then I you think do. I took the bus. I remember the bus. No, if you drove, you don't remember a bus that didn't exist. So if she's blackout drunk, but still remembers you roughing her up in bits and pieces. It's not because it didn't happen. I'll That's tell not the how truth. a blackout works. I will tell the truth after the break. <laughs> no, let's no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, because this is a real discussion that we had, it, and it was when I remember the day after or whatever. I, I came over here. It was like two days after. What the fuck ever. I mean, I was on a fucking bender for sure. Um, and and you had said some things to me, like you know, you hit me. Do you remember hitting me? And I was like, you know, fuck, I I now I do, you know. And I was like, I'm enlightened. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I did. I'm not denying that. And that was fucking transparent, honest person, fuck up base of the earth. However, we had that discussion on the porch. And you said, I'll never forget that moment when I laid you out. And you did lay me out on the fucking porch. That's not what I said. You that's did. You said. did. Now, now the thing is, though, I'm a woman that I weigh about 130 pounds, and I don't. I think that your the best, fact that you're overweight your has fucking, nothing to do. With <laughs> don't, don't bring your obesity Play the into fat this. Card. Yeah. Look at. There's other uh, options. Uh, is what jury, I'm saying. disregard those last comments. <laughs> Move to strike. What I'm saying is, there's other options. Now, if again going to the blackout drunk thing, which I don't deny, you had a, you had another option if you were sober, if you were as in clear of mind fucking that you were you didn't have to fucking throw me down all you had to do was remove yourself from the situation and then this shit wouldn't have fucking happened that's kind of uh that's almost victim blaming 
I, that's my fault. Is I that's almost like saying that's almost like I saying. My well, gear. if you knew I was asking for it, by the way, I was dressed. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know where where to go with this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The point is when and that mental and that me mental because you knew that I deserved it. And that what? mental state and and as as poorly presented as I was, you should have just fucking left if in fact you Until were sober. Until you got called back for Xanax. Then you should have came back. It was shit face, dude. You shit should have ignored face. me. You should have known I mean, that I was fucked up and face. ignored that. But I'm not denying what I did no. to you was wrong. I accept that. That's Why cool. Like I totally get it. Why would you give a drunk person Xanax? But <laughs> you know but that's how many. A I'm lot telling of you, dude. Call like, them into a trap. I mean, I, I took this. That you called him into a trap. Dude, I was so fucking hammered. I just I wanted a Xanax. I wanted to go to bed. I didn't even remember I called yeah. the cops. You I know took what I mean? the Xanax Fuck. because I was concerned she would take the whole bottle. If you didn't remember you called the I cops, then you could not have informed him that you called the cops when you asked for the Xanax. You just, I just uh, feel like yeah. there's a million other options than what you did. And what you did is cool. Whatever. It's what happened. Fucking who gives a shit, you know? But just saying. What have we learned from this? Now Wait, that- I want to give my side of... Go ahead. You Go did. Ahead. Basic, no. Basic, oh, should I turn your mic on finally? No, I was grabbing all my stuff. I had the last of it on the porch. Uh, you said the kitchen? Well, I had it in the kitchen and I moved the porch so I get... Because I fucking can't move stuff like a normal person. I can't fucking just grab everything I own. Don't and carry get mad it. at me. Your statement was you had I'm, it in the kitchen when I'm she arrived. I'm being passionate home. about it. I, oh. So I grabbed it to, and moved it to the porch, so I could take it to my car, breathe through a kick to my stomach. I fucking backed up. Through rap- a kick. Hang on, his kung fu gets involved. So the story's changed now from the kitchen to the porch. You didn't say that earlier during your original opening statements. My stuff and now was you're in the saying- kitchen. That's and I was I moved it to Derek, the porch. I think this is what we're kind of driving at is the story's kind of changing with Bla- you. Blackout ninja. Blackout. <laughs> well, he didn't have any beers until he came here when he shotgunned one and then drank another and then had a cigarette. Listen. I, I had we my stuff in the, the kitchen all day because I was slowly moving it to my car. All right. That, you did establish that earlier. <laughs> and I grabbed the last of the things to move to the front porch so I can move. Because I can't fucking walk from the okay, kitchen to the, the car. Truth, the only thing we're here to debate is whether or not you hit her. I want to tell on my side right now. Breathe through a kick to my stomach. I took it, backed up, wrapped them around my, my arms around my stuff. She punched me in the face. I fucking... Uh, Are you recounting a Ronda Rousey fight? She started. <laughs> she started throwing really fast punches at my face. MMA. So I grabbed her hand and I asked her if I needed. I, I don't remember what I asked her, but I'm basically like. Oh, you I, said something specific there. You asked her if she needed what, or if you I needed don't, what. I had to remember because it was. It was like now's a good time. I. I you know you know I asked her like. We'll wait. Do I need to? push you back to get the rest of my stuff, I think, something t- along those lines. In the volley of rabbit punches to your face, you grabbed one of her hands and said... Do I need to knock you out? I'll, no, I I'll, grabbed one of her hands said. and stopped her, and she stopped with me. I would have said it. She stopped with me. With her hands, she stopped with me, and I was holding it. And all I did was twist her wrist, not hard enough to hurt her, but she went down on the ground. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life is her on the ground. I slammed the door, wrapped my arms around the rest of my stuff on the porch, ran to my car, and ran. Wait, you, you just said that you can't move stuff like other people, but all of a sudden... Ran for me is a different definition. I fucking <laughs> dropped a shoe. I it's know 3.0 on the, in the fucking, treadmill. If I can, <laughs> if I can uh, direct the attention to the I went house, as, to some video went, we're going to play of Derek trying to run... <laughs> I went, ran means I went as fast as I fucking I could without you. falling. Yeah. No, I get it. And All this right. was before she called the police and before she called you back to bring Xanax. Yeah. All right. Who has the, the prescription for Xanax? Actually, uh, Her, she, Mexico. Yeah. The, right. the police did want to uh, uh, threaten with administering a, uh, a sobriety test. Yeah, I, I kind of wish I had taken it at that time. Well, that's another topic. I mean, well, if the cops well, I hope think no you're obviously drunk. Well, I, I, no, because I called for you the next day, and I, out of kindness, I was looking for your belongings, and they said, you know, he, he's really lucky. He was so intoxicated that if he was driving, he would have received a DUI. And they shared that information with me the next day, 
I don't know if it's true. I know you blame it yeah, on your leg no, and your gait. Derek did corroborate but, that they, they said that he was uh, obviously intoxicated. But again, Something it just to goes the they, they offered it to the, the effect of, hey, you're already going to uh, jail for domestic violence. You wanted me to double down don't and make give this you this worse. <laughs> Actually, test. I want to make a statement that uh, they offered it. You know, you know, they said we should definitely test you because we could smell it, and I hadn't ate or drank uh, any liquid water or anything but two beers that entire day and they and they said we should test you because you smell so strong and i thought about it, having them test me because i've never blown more than a point zero seven in the fun house as hard as i've tried did, did Even, they mention you I, being that's not admissible in this court did they mention you being intoxicated in any paperwork well yeah or is it because only they just talk somebody about, in business yeah. he's told no they else talk he was they talk hammered. about the way that they walk because i walk fucked up because i have a goddamn plate in my leg and they talk about how i was hiding in the goddamn bushes in front of my house whenever i was bent over looking for the fucking xanax i was bringing brie when i got out of my car i tripped in a fucking gully that's our driveway and dropped them and i'm bent over picking them up and the cops pull up and i'm I'm like, how can I help you? And they're like, freeze! Don't move! I will tease you! I'm just using dramatics, but that's how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking a nonviolent person with a giant plate in my leg. If you push me at the right angle, I will fall over. I will literally, if you so use wait, yeah, one finger to push Derek? me at the right angle, I will fucking fall over. Derek, so you spilled the Xanax in the gully when you when got you out of the over. car. Under the bushes. Right in front of her house, there's a juniper the game, bush. Right you spilled your Xanax. I spilled her Xanax. And you were trying to pick him up. I was picking him up, and I saw headlights, and I looked okay. up, and it's fucking the cops. This and is I'm very like, important. Hey, how can I help you? Derek? I had no reason to believe Derek? that they were looking for me for a fucking domestic assault that I didn't commit. Right now, you don't seem like you can get violent at all. But <laughs> this is still. This, hey, wait, wait. No, no. Wait, I'm still is, dependent on is, Kenny backing I, me up when he, what he gun. saw. I have the smoking gun, right? Well, not, uh, I have a million smoking guns with Derek. <laughs> Derek went into great detail the next day after he was arrested about how he had his, the Xanax in his shorts pockets. He was handcuffed behind his back. Does everyone remember this? Yes. He yes. carefully twisted his shorts, gym shorts, around so he could reach into the pocket from his ass so he could... Gently toss the Xanax underneath the car so you would get your Xanax. Now, all of a sudden, he's spilled those Xanax before the cops got there. He's picking them up in a gully. The magic Xanax. I spilled yes. about 10 of them. I did spill about 10 of them. Oh, I got them all the next morning. And it was it like a tweaker. Where, where, like where, where did you, where did you get those? Where did you get those Xanax? Um, I, initially, um. I found them literally by the mailbox, and they were little pieces. And, is that where you know, the gully is? I think it's, it's kind of a gully. Our, our driveway yeah. has a giant Was there gully. a bottle? Uh, I did not see it until I, I took my car out. So there was a bottle. And then there was a bottle underneath the car. So kudos Under to the Derek. car, not under the bushes. Not Ooh, under the bushes. No. Under the car. By the house. It was you literally know, under the car, you, and I know no, because... Okay, all right. Chad Shank, go. Let him fucking expound without Wait, are we in. done with their no, statements? No, no, no we're going to okay. okay. wrap up. Chad, you have questions? No, because we got it. We, this is like retarded. Up. Like, we... This is... We're well, both retarded. That's what the... You know, we, we're just... I do agree with you. I cannot strike another human being under any condition. So whatever accusation against me, I deny and... You should. All right, here's what I will say this. It's, uh, I agree with what you said 100%, except if you call the cops after he left, that's a dick move, because, unless you were afraid he was going to come back, which is fair. But then you call them to come back, which negates that, which basically makes you being guilty of being a cunt that night, regardless of anything else. That's what you've admitted to that much, Jeez, as much as everybody else admitted. Corroborated Derek's story with the Xanax, losing the Xanax. <clears throat> it's a... It, it, it All right, Chad. Like just people being drunk. I got you on the cunt thing for sure. I am a cunt a, a lot, especially like before I go on the rag. Like I'm a bitch, and I actually think I have some kind of medical disorder that makes me so cunty. Cuntiness. Um, but no, and and it's just at times. At other times, I I'm Red like MD. the Red nicest MD. fucking person in the world. But there there are some issues. Okay, you know I'm not denying that. But what I'm going to tell you um is uh okay. So you're 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 talking about. Uh, refresh me. You, initially, your contention was. I'm so, I'm, I'm on a, I no, but hang on. But your you first, no, wait, because no, I, really yeah, no, I really do have. No, I really do have. I really do. Is 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 
calling him back after calling the cops, I guess is where it would come from. Okay, so this is where, no, 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 hang on. would be calling the cops after he left. He's no longer a threat, but if you feel like- It's in my head, hang on, it's in my head. You you said, why would you call the cops, right, after he left? Because Derek has a habit- No, no, I can see it No, 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 wait, no, no, I'm going to explain this, actually, because it's very logical. Um, Derek has a habit of, of doing this, and I do sometimes think it has to do with a neurological condition or some kind of post concussion issue when we get in fights he will leave and he comes back and he leaves and he comes back and he leaves and comes oh, back and leaves and comes happen. back and leaves and comes back and leaves and comes back and leaves and comes back if you call him and, and tell him to I come don't, back no, he comes over here I didn't want him to come back I wanted the Xanax leaves. all right but you knew you would but, call the cops on him Absolutely. And I, I, I did. Nice I, but, but you know what? Also, I'm a shithead and I'm fucking shit faced and I get I'm cunty. But again, if you know, if you're fucking sober, then why the motherfucking God are okay. you going to be like, yeah, I'm going to come over. I'm sober. I'm going to come over and give her Xanax. That's because a great idea. For it and he's because also whipped? No, he's not fucking whipped at all. He's not. That's the th- you, it's, it's, it's such a miss. Inter- it's a, Nobody sees it for what it is. Derek is a fucking amazing guy. I absolutely love the fuck out of him, but he's fucking nuts. Just as nuts as I am. And when you get two fucking little batshit insane people, we do fucking crazy shit. And like, you hope you have an agreement like, that you don't call the cops. Well. <laughs> because you both well, know that no, shit can get extreme no, because, and the cops takes it out no, of your control. No, no, Chad. So call because the cops You know what, Chad? Move. No, I'm mean, going to tell you, Chad, for real, legitimately, I was scared. And I have been scared previous so scared to this. So scared that you call them back yes. to say, "Come back and bring me Xanax because I'm because only the slightly doors are less locked, scared than how much I want Because the windows are Xanax. shut and locked, mm-hmm. and because genuinely I want to chill out and just go to fucking bed, and I'm so stressed out. But I'm going to fucking say this right now, and I'm not looking at anybody. I have been fucking scared. I have seen shit that's fucking weird. Whatever the door he's thing, seen that's the pretty same, fucking scary. He's seen the same shit for me. I understand. He's seen some whack ass shit that I've done. I'm not fucking in. But there are times that I'm genuinely like fucking back the fuck up. Like, dude, back the fuck up. I would not dispute up. that. When I would not doubt that. Yeah. Door and so, yeah, I would, so, I would never dispute so that or doubt that. I'm going to say. It's both sides. It's and both sides. Calls the we cops have a surprise witness. Fucking dick. Everyone, we have a surprise witness. Well, Kenny. Let, let, let's for establish mayor. where we're at right now. We've all heard both sides of the story. It goes back deeper than we thought. Okay. No, no off mic talking. It goes back deeper than we thought, which I didn't know about. I thought that was very relevant. And then we've got some details that I tried to ignore all the things I was hearing when Derek was talking because I wanted to be impartial. <laughs> or I was bored. During, uh, <laughs> I wanted to be impartial during this period of time when we, could, when we could all be together and everyone could say things face to face. So we've got a, a baseline, I feel. Now, you said you're bringing a witness? Yes. Um, Kenny for mayor is uh, here. Are you uh, here to do... Uh, uh, tell your story, Kenny, for me. I, I'm just here. I'm I'm an in between guy, so I'm partial to both sides. I can't even. I you know I'm a little just dis- disturbed by the both of them. But at this <laughs> what's moment, your story? My story is the night of question. Just so you you know, and you were blacked out apparently, and he was in high and as a kid. Wait, 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 wait. But or hang on, I'm going by what she said, and you know, in and out, blackout. We'd like you to use your. She like did what you saw. Your own words. What My words saw. is I talked to Derek about three minutes after he left the house that night. and The first time he the, left. The first time he left. Okay. And he was being very um, standoffish about where he was at, where he was Gregarious. going. Gregarious? He, yes, call, he called you or you called him? I actually called him. Okay. Why did you call him at that point? Um, I called him just to see what's going on. It was a Friday night, yeah, or, right. or a t- when it, I had a night off. Just put it that way. I had no, you know. They call each other ten to twelve times a day. When so was oh, when was the down. time you called him before that time? Uh, it was probably about four hours before that, or when I left their house doing Shatter, which you know. Was she there at the time? Yes, and doing she was, Shatter. Shatter is a, a, an extremely she, potent she type would, of they marijuana. Were, they were fine. Hold, they hold were, on. Everything. So in the evening, when this all took place, and you called three minutes after it happened, after he was leaving the house. You talked to him four hours previous, and during that previous amount of time, she was there or not there? She was there. She was there. Yes. I hung so, out with them. With so them Derek both. was saying she wasn't there all day, but she was there four hours prior? I don't know where... I I'm, don't, just, I'm just establishing I'm, this. But you're, I'm not going to go into all the details. You've he already was, told me everything I need to there. know. They were both there. They were both drinking because I know they were t- telling the night before... Derek was stories drinking? Stories of the night before, what they did with the Xanax and all the fun stuff. and. What? 
you know, which anal, which well, no. you know, private I'm, stuff. I'm joking. <laughs> Talk slower. <laughs> well, you're getting me worked up. I'm, I I got too many questions in my head now. Would you like a shot? Yeah, quick one. So Kenny, uh, and so you guys, this is the night did, in question. This is the night in question. He, when I talked to him, he, he, I'm sorry for the both. You did call the cops while he was present at the property. I do know this, and unfortunately, he knew it because he was. I knew that he knew because he was very standoffish. Bum bum bum. And he would not tell me where he was going. And, and how is and it that neither of us remember that? You know, it's unfortunately the fact that. Can we underline that? I apologize. I like it. Uh, okay. Derek Actually. knew yeah. that she had called the cops before he, he left the property. He knew because he wouldn't tell us. He wouldn't tell me where he was going. You know <laughs> where, where does where do anyone go? What the? Where does anyone? Fuck? Go? Which I already everybody's knew. guilty. I already knew. Yeah, That's everybody's not, guilty. Unanimously, everybody everybody's is fucking guilty. guilty. That's what we're gonna find, right? Yes. Actually, wait. Actually, uh, no, 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 no. He's not, on the not till Kenny's done. Not till Kenny's she done. She said she was calling the cops, but I didn't believe. I, you know, I when I left, I didn't believe there was any that's reason. I would, not, it, I would. I would. There was. I didn't believe there was any reason that if I came back, they would arrest me for fucking assaulting anybody because I didn't believe I'd assault Derek. You know, but you knew. You you denied earlier that you that, knew you that never she, even, the cops were you never looking even for you. She said My whole defense of you was she, based upon order in the fun house. She, My, she says it Derek, all Derek, the time. it's not your turn. It's not your turn. It's Derek, Kenny's. You turn. have to understand Look. that if you don't say something, then something comes out in cross exam or with another witness. I'm on, and then you admit to it. It looks, it looks bad yeah. for you Very because Kenny. you didn't offer it up to begin with. That's why you I'm have to be forthcoming. I, right? And, 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 and I'm Derek, a blackout drunk. Wait, no, under court I'll rules. I'll shut off the mics. I'll shut off. The Order mics. in the fun house. <laughs> Kenny, are you? Uh, I was pretty much done. All I'm going to say is I love you both. You're both my friends. And I just don't get what the bullshit is. And uh, Talk about she almost pushed me out the window. Well, I'm not going to go there because it's not the business of the outside world. You told me not uh, to say that. We'd nothing. like to hear about you. I would like to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay. Like this I is like my head. It. Seems like a fraud at this point. <laughs> this is, my head tells me when I, the night I called the police. Judge, he opened the door. Let's finish the story. It was fine. I was on Derek's side that night because I thought she hit him in the face with a glass, which ended up being a little cocktail cup like the one I'm holding. Plastic? Which, plastic, which okay. I thought was glass. She was drinking out of a glass earlier that day. Like a lady. Like a lady should but then she changed to plastic like a drunk lady should you know whoa, so whoa, she doesn't whoa. drop her shit and break it and that was actually yeah and probably. i'm just not i wasn't aware of that and then when she did shove him and i thought about this i for a couple hours after i'm like okay i did call the police there must have been a reason you know and oh I, wait a I, minute now we went back of incident. well he told we're me not to. on the same no, no, incident he was gonna know, say about we, throwing him out to the window I right but that's, that's a previous incident we need to make shit clear yeah yes yeah. this was a previous incident i did say that earlier. all right so nobody threw derek through the window on the night that we're we no. should send this back the to the night of we should send this back to regular court because they had I'm, order when they arranged I'm, derek. i still stand by i listened to the podcast on the way somewhere oh to the airport yeah of you guys where Derek fucked up or something, and I got zero enlightenment out of that entire. I was like, I have no idea what happened. I have to go fucking talk to people, so I, I can just, only imagine the confusion of others. My whole thing was when she did throw the right hook, which was a damn good punch because it landed. You saw this? I saw this one that night. You I saw called the punch. police. I called the police on the night you called the cops. Different yes. night. Different, Different night. night. That would be, have been the fourth the time first in well, the no, first. She said she called the police three times. The first. She didn't say his, his and he would, would have been his he called fourth. once. Yes. Irregardless. That's four Irregardless, times. It doesn't matter. matter. Funhouse uh, terms. But what I'm saying <laughs> is Funhouse court terms. When, yeah, funhouse and this court is another terms. when he does say a finger can cause him to fall over, it is almost true. She did shove him pretty good, and when I angled it out and did my, my investigation after the fact, <laughs> I, I looked at where he was standing and where she shoved him and where if he would have fell, he would have went out the window down into the top of his demon, which could have wouldn't have killed him but would have been funny in a sense. Kenny, it's not the Twin Towers. <laughs> I'm, it, it's, I'm saying it's it wouldn't fucking, have killed him. It's a, it's a first story it wouldn't building. Have killed him. I'm picturing Kenny Stone shining a laser pointer out the window doing his, <laughs> his after investigation. <laughs> investigation. <laughs> Derek, cold, cold we need to check smile. the finger. Look where you the the finger foul, theory. Bro. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for us to uh, I, come God, to God, a, I hope yeah. so. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Uh, Kenny, you're, you're done. Derek, you can and take that's your just, seat like I said, back. I'm as crazy as everybody is here. So we're that's all fucking my... crazy. It's all. But I didn't. Uh, no, I think we're pretty thank rational. You, thank you for your testimony, to you. Kenny. We'll be in touch. Love you both. Bye. 
Derek wanted to rebut Kenny, and then mm-hmm. I'll let uh, uh, them have their closing final arguments. minute. Well, we, you, well, you, what you have is closing statements. Well, right. he has to rebut Kenny. I, no, he can. We and, definitely need closing statements. And then, and then we're we're both get closing one minute statements. for closing what? statements. Oh, oh, we're seven, timing that okay. shit. No, I got 7.30 to 8.30 to 9. Okay, I'm good. good. It's like good. an hour and a half for Tucson, right? Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, Derek, Doug, uh, what's Derek doing? Oh, please, I yield to Bree. Rebutting Kenny, I thought. Yeah, I thought you said you had something oh. to answer Kenny. I don't remember. <laughs> he doesn't remember. That was, was an just, official statement, by the way. No, it was, it was Derek just mumbling, like I don't remember. It, it was just like Kenny's, Kenny's seen how it how it starts. I'm not a violent person. In uh, Bree told me that hey, when this shit was going on, the first thing when I went over there, uh, she said, "Listen, I get violent. I'm not going to say I don't." I hey. removed the door, and when it was gone, I said, "Hi." A handyman removes the door. I said, Listen, "You Hi. don't." Unless unless you're trying to make a point where we try to punch, have Chad Shank punch through my door that I punched out of anger and couldn't make a dent in that seemed very weak. Yes, I had Chad Shank, like, punch this door. It seems like your fist would go through it like Balser would. So, yeah, we've punched through a door over here, uh, but it wasn't, if it was in, it wasn't in the we heat of a moment. We didn't gain entry. So, yeah, the fact that you can fall over with a fucking cool breeze, but you can still wail your arms through a locked oh, good door. Point. Good point. Yeah, the whole high part doesn't really take the edge off of that terror. There's a lot of different kind of doors. You're making an assumption off one door. Sir. Oh, you're talking like a, like a solid core door yeah, like as opposed to a door. Anyways, I want to give the, Most yeah. people can go through a door fairly easily. I want to give the Look. minute to Bree to close... No, no, uh, well, you have uh, uh, any, you have up to one minute for a closing statement. No, I thought it was, they were both going to uh, give some kind of commentary on what what they thought about Kenny's statement. Like uh, uh, some uh, kind Kenny, of forgot. He forgot. He's, uh, yeah, yeah, he now forgot. We're back to closing. I, I'm with Kenny. Yeah. Um, you know, and and Kenny, thank you for enlightening me because there's times. Do Kenny comes over at fucking seven or eight, and I'm already half in the bag and whatever. You know, it's fine. AM um, or PM. And, uh, <laughs> <Both>. um, <laughs> For two months, it was probably a.m. But um, <laughs> like after that, I was pretty good, and I'd start like six or whatever. But um, yeah, no, no, Kenny's Kenny's probably a, a pretty reliable uh, source. Um, uh, I think uh, you know, uh, shit. I, I I think fuck. We're just all fucking. Re- oh, I thirty did. seconds. I mean, and this is not my closing statement, but I mean, for yes, respect it is. to... No, 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 no. She's statement. rebutting. No, oh, we're not I, doing I'll, closing I'll, statement. No, I'll give a closing statement. No, no, no. no. You're, continue with Kenny until you're done, okay. and then we'll do the one No, Kenny's all good. Kenny, Kenny's good. I, 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 I adore Kenny. Kenny's good. It's fine. Whatever he says, I believe him. Believe me. I, I, I fucking no idea. So whatever Kenny says, I trust him. How's He's, your counsel? I advise against that. Anyway, uh, are we going to do closing <laughs> statements? Okay. Closing so, statement. I believe the uh, plaintiff goes first. And then the defendant goes last. That, so that would be Bree goes first. Okay. So um, are I, you ready to start? I'm I'm ready, and right. and I, I will bullet point the issues um, as Sorry, they are. Have one minute in my head. Um, you were sober. You were not. Um, you uh, you are, are you're having false memories about what actually happened, Derek. Um, you re- Derek, to Derek, Derek, for Derek the you did you did throw me to the ground, and I remember being on the ground, and it was enough for me to call the cops. And um, it is what it is. Uh, did you just fart? Clock's ticking. 30 <laughs> seconds. Um, <laughs> There's a really, level of difficulty really in people's be, court um, in the fun house. It's anyways, like an obstacle course. One house course it's is a, different. It's a, it's, a, it's a shit show, but, you know, I love you. And, uh, you know, by the way, I, you know, I mean, if, if we don't make it, I'm looking for love. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, do a little love connection after this. I think I'm in a lot of men that are going to want to be into me. So um, I'm down. I don't know. If you're so, still in this relationship or whatnot. You... But <laughs> I may be single after this. Time. Derek, do you have any closing remarks? I love and adore Bree, and um, I'm a nonviolent person. As most people can tell just from listening to my previous podcast, you can sense that I'm not angry. And I demonstrated earlier that I, I lived in a. He's never angry. He's just a really good door-to-door salesman. <laughs> he won't take no. Clock's running. Don't take his time. 
Go ahead, sorry. Anyways, I don't know what to say. I love Bree, and, and uh, she does a lot for me. And w- what either one of us remembers or don't remembers, I grew up not striking my siblings back, and I learned only how to defend myself. And I defended myself that night so I could grab my shit, which I should have left behind. I hear you, Dave. I hear you. I, I can't have you talking until he's done. Bree asked Ten me seconds. that night if if I could I should have restrained her, as I've done before. Uh, she's called the cops several times, but I think both you know from my past don't involve the man. They don't understand what's going on. All right, your time is up. And as always, at the end of Funhouse Court, when it's a domestic violence case, <laughs> Bree. If you'd like to go on another date with Derek, we'll pay for it. <laughs> Is the date to jail? I'm I'm thinking about Sizzler or maybe Iron Skillet. Off the that's too far. The ten. Is that uh, we'll we'll pay for it? Is it a yes or no, Bree? Would you like to go on another date with Derek? Every time God closes a window, he smashes open a door. <laughs> All right, let's uh, yeah, let's, let's, just let's wrap triple it up. down with the <laughs> as you think about it. Let's triple down with the goofy fucking 1991 game shows. Do 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 do. Think about do, it. Do 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 oh, do, do. Buy stuff from Redbone when you're in Bisbee. No, you love time Lucy for, Saint you love John. Time for that. You love time for okay. that. All right. You just Jeez. fucked up. So you would you like another date or not? I'll take another date with you. The Funhouse Court will pay for your <laughs> love connection. A reluctant love connection if there ever was one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't end up with What the is like the called? fencing gear that you wear? Like if it's just, you know, we should it's both wear it. fencing like the, gear? Yeah, fencing gear. No, we so you, you want to wear that thing where you... It's uh, like with, a, with the, the attack dogs. Yeah, the iron <laughs> like the suit, or the, the attack um, suit. Yeah, the attack chain suit. mail. I was going to both can wear I chain mail. Uh, chain mail. Uh, shit. Derek, uh, where do we go to? Uh, the, where do the listeners go to buy your uh, vintage T-shirts? You each get a plug. I have a couple of wife beaters up for sale. <laughs> on uh, Lucy St. John is, is selling for me on A Z Craft A Z C R A F T on eBay. Go. go uh, to, uh, let me tell you right now. Go to eBay stores and search AZ Craft. No spaces. Right. I'm right. And, and, and there's one up right now. There'll be a couple more up Tuesday. I really need the money. I got about $57. Are you serious? For wife beaters? Any, no, uh, no my, she's been calling them wife beaters. Any mustard uh, stains? Any mustard stains? stains? There's holes in them, and they're oh, my old concert fantastic. shirts, but I need the money. Shirts. I, it's shirts. going to cost me at least $53 to stay that night in jail, and I have some court costs coming. And... Uh, yeah, uh, 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 when if you're in Bisbee, go to Lucy St. John's store, Redbone. It's at Subway, on Subway Street. Street. Just, uh, just ask someone. And, and I love Bree, and she does okay, all right. everything you could uh, yeah, ever yeah, yeah. want a girlfriend yeah, to do, yeah, including hit you in the face. Ride to the airport. That's <laughs> the guy who's not whipped. We gotta, we got <laughs> We're gonna wrap this up. Here's what happens: There's a domestic dispute. There's someone goes to jail. A friend of ours and another friend is suicidal. They all come back together. We go to Vegas for a week. They're back together. Everything's fine. The thunder's kind of taken out of this. Thank God we could whip it up. Uh, but we're going to let you, Derek, since you won the uh, the dream date with Bree on Funhouse Court, we're going to let you bask in the police beat that we came back to. Go ahead, Chad. Let's start the police beat right now with not just the police beat, Wait, what are you doing? I don't, what? I don't even have a police I gave police you the beat. fucking the thing on how we close this. We can always come back oh, to the police shit. beat. Okay, then would you cut this out? Oh. I don't... What? We're not prepared for this. Well, All right. I know I was just going to have him read We're ending the segment. Oh, I was going to have him read... I don't know if you can hear that. This is the Doug Stanhope Podcast, reminding you that if you're involved in a dispute such as this, and you can't seem to work it out... Don't take the law into your own hands. You take them to court. <laughs> <So depressing. laughs> Funhouse Court. Uh-huh. 
Hey, my new special, uh, Doug Stanhope, No Place Like Home, filmed right here in Bisbee, Arizona, is now available on CISO. S-E-E-S-O dot com. Go to CISO dot com. It's a live streaming uh, thing like all those other fucking things. But this one, uh, you get a, a free trial. Uh, I know it lasts longer than an hour, and that's how long my special is. So go to CISO dot com. And uh, yeah, so how about that? This special is free, motherfucker. Big J. Okerson's on the label, Harmon Quest, Rooftop Comics. There's a bunch of shit. It's all comedy. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Get the free trial. Watch Doug Stanhope, No Place Like Home, and spread the word about me and CISO. And that free part. Yoink. Wink. Well, that was a doozy. Again, it would have been so much better if we had done it in the heat of the moment, because there were like three or four nights where... I had to go over for a suicide watch for her. And as a drunk, yeah, no, I I spoke her language. No one speaks Derek's language. I feel like that should have been introduced into the the court records. Well, honestly. A lot of shit should have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. The the amount of time that Doug was going over there, those couple of, like, three or four, three or four days before everything was dissolved. Uh, yeah, I think that was important to note that she was uh, at least uh, bringing people over there because she was very distraught. Yeah, uh, and openly suicidal. She called me once and oh. said, listen, I, she said, send anyone over. I, I, it was like anyone. because You like, should have sent me over and then the whole tune would have changed. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean you. No, you're just here to tell me who's coming over next? You're the Dr. <laughs> Kevorkian of the crew. No, I'd be able to show her how to tie knots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hand or the razor blade. <laughs> so, how did? So, so, needless to say, uh, she's an unhappy person in the relationship. So uh, then we uh, we set up some date nights with uh, ladies over here. We had a dinner party with uh, on the on the tail on the tail end of the all the kerfuffle. Things started winding down, and then you set up a dinner party of like. This other people hanging out in the fun house where we we enjoyed the uh, Omaha Derek steaks. Derek does not bring her out unless Derek is shadowing her. Which, so that's weird. So too. we said, all right, since you're in this breakup, like at that point, legally he couldn't even. Yes, be, be with, she had a restraining order. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we set up uh, some people she could talk to. She had no friends. Yeah, you know, it's a she doesn't I, talk I to anyone. Analogy. She I doesn't. She has no contact with with more than a core group of maybe four people. Yeah, which is Derek and Kenny and the mailman and you. <laughs> so I wondered what so was that's going part on with the mailman. That's part of it. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we could not enter into uh, uh, unless we wanted to bore the fuck out of listeners. Which oh we wait, might that's have not what done. we're doing. I thought for sure that's what we were going for here. So, uh, yeah, there all, all is uh, now is allegedly fine in Mudville. Uh, well, that mic is off. Just so you oh, know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Go but ahead. yeah, that was a fucking, that was a lot of chaos. And uh, I don't think we got anywhere with it. But you never do with Derek and Bree. You never get anywhere. It reminds me a lot of when I was in chaotic relationships. In that when you're in it, it doesn't seem chaotic. It just seems like that's the that's the role you're playing. You're just you're on this treadmill, and it's like, well, yeah, but I love her. Right. Yeah, but I love him. And you do these things, and only when you're out of that of that cycle do you actually see what's really going on. I get I get that to a point, but were you ever involved where somebody called the cops? Oh, my friend, I told my mom, mom, if I'm like you guys know me. I'm not a guy who goes to jail. Yeah. I remember calling my mom saying, if I'm in jail, for whatever reason, it's her. It's her. And that when I said that, that should have been the, yeah. get the fuck out. Yeah. It was still four years and then a rebound after that for Jeez. a year or two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Renee and I went three years. The only, uh, I don't think the cops were ever called. Yeah. And, and neither, neither was my situation. I uh, somehow. But we were both drunks. Derek and Bree, she's a drunk. He's a stoner. He's more of a stoner than I am a drunk. It's all day. 
not relationship wise because I would I could never be in an abusive relationship because it would end bad for me probably if it was well, abusive it on yeah, either. one night yeah yeah so you, yeah I've you'd never, be the top yeah exactly <laughs> I've never so I've never had that sort of problem but even just with like friendships with people that I've had like calling the cops is a fucking deal breaker like oh, that's well a fucking the girl that I was uh, great I wonder the what lady happened. I was associated with was actually getting trying to get trying to talk people into hurting me while I was in Anchorage. I found this out years later. And this this is this is the level that she was so Contact. and I had nothing to do with her. But she still worked in bars and stuff and knew uh guys like you, Chad. <laughs> Putting contracts out on you. Oh, I've had people apologize to me after not seeing them for six years, saying like, "I have to tell you, uh, everything that was going on back then. I was totally, I believed her a hundred percent, and you clearly aren't that guy. And I these are people the that like, like that don't matter. These aren't people that make any decisions in my day to day. And I was like vindicated, but after so much time of like. Doubting myself and doubting everything. I don't know where I get faked a pregnancy. Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> the second one, her lawyer sister called me and I said, I'll tell you what, I bit on the first one and I went down that whole path that she wanted me to do. Found out she went to a Marcy Playground uh, concert down in Seattle. So I just have to ask you, are we doing that again? Because I'll just write the check or. Do you not know about that? And she goes, "Thank you for your time." And she hung up the phone, and that was it. And so, yeah, there was she had like an abortion broker. Yeah. Oh my god. No, no. Li- <laughs> listen, the sister was great. I, I actually had met her, and she is a really good lawyer, a, a, like a liberal advocate lawyer, really fucking cool person. And I said, "Listen, come on, you're not. We're not doing this, are we? Ugh. You don't know what's going on." And I laid the whole thing out, and then she, that was it. And then that was it. Never heard of it. Mm. Sorry, as soon as you said uh, 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 Chad, uh, being, uh, as soon as Chad said being in an abusive relationship, the only, I, uh, my rapid cycling thought, the only way that could happen is if it was a gay relationship <laughs> and his, his girlfriend, boyfriend was the security guy from the dive bar. That nine foot <laughs> as beat him as, off. And, as yeah. soon as you started that sentence, Ooh. I knew who you were going to say because I agree. But then I, for, <laughs> that made me think, fuck, we never talked about Chad's first time in a gay bar at the garage in Vegas. Well, yeah. can I, can, let, me, let me start by saying when we had to go to the dive bar. Like, what we do is we go early and drink and have fun, and we've got 28 people in tow. Turned out more because we had other people showing up. These are all part of the group at 175 capacity. I mean, that's the tickets, right? So There's no green room in 175-seater. A, they that- closed the kitchen that night because they couldn't imagine going through with an order of chicken wings <laughs> through the crowd. Because I couldn't it was, either. No, Mm-mm. so it made sense. They, they, great call. Yeah, and they—they they, it was uh, Nate and Angie. They were fucking awesome there at the dive bar. No. So we find the closest bar to the place. We ask. We ask what the closest bar to the place is, where we can hang out for a couple hours before the show, because we get all these people coming from everyone's across town. coming from wherever. Yeah. So, uh, so they say the garage. It's a gay bar. I'm like, all right, if it's walking distance, that's good. It's a gay bar. We don't know that it's actually walking distance because it's, we don't really. We walked. What, no. I found out later because Alex oh, walked. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. From there when to it, the. We were lost. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. So the, <laughs> I called the bar and I said, "Do you have anything going on tonight?" Nope. I'm like, it's a Sunday night. It's a it's a gay club. It's a gay sports bar. I'm like. They said they got nothing going on. No problem. Gay sports bar was the best. I dropped you guys off. 30 it's screens. Fucking, I'll, it's dicks to dicks. I'm, <laughs> I'm still considering that I've not been in a gay bar. There's like hubcaps on the wall. It's called the garage. It's like racing theme. It's the most manly bar I've ever been into. It was, it was a padded door to get well, in. Well, it was really clean. <laughs> other than, But the theme was really manly. One of their biggest nights. <laughs> Sunday, when nothing's going on, it's a fucking beer bust. Two they, for one. Two for it's one. It's the size of a TGI Fridays and kind of that kind of layout where there's like little different sections, but it was a big fucking bar. So it wasn't a hole in the wall. It's, 
Uh, and then when a I glory hold joke, everyone stops. <laughs> yeah. So when I dropped you guys off, all of you guys exited the car. I know everyone's meeting you guys there. And then I drove and I literally drove like it did a big U-turn and I like, was now in the parking lot of the dive bar. I'm like, motherfucker. I didn't know it was so close. It looked from what Alex said. It's like it's the closest bar near us. And or there's a. A hookah bar across the street. Well, here's the thing. When we do this a lot, because we play a lot of dive bars where there is no green room, and if there's a lot of bars walking distance, we'll just hit another bar where I assume my fans won't be. You know, and a lot of people now know this, so they'll they'll hit the other bars. Oh, we'll find Stanhope drinking somewhere, so I'll like go to the five star hotel where it's $19 yeah. for a fucking vodka drink. Uh, all right, they're not coming in here. Nothing was better than the garage for a bar that my fans aren't going to find me in what, with what, Chad Shack. What, I went over and, uh, to order a drink, and the guy was like, hey, sweetheart, you know, what are you going to have? I was like, a vodka soda with a lemon, and I was kind of chuckling because I felt, you know, I was like, this is fucking the weirdest maybe experience i've ever had and then andy andrus comes over and hugs me and leans onto me and goes meet me in the bathroom <laughs> oh that's right we wait was he talking to, to you yeah was he talking to you or it the bartender directly into my ear <laughs> and then a bunch of people see this and then i follow andy to the bathroom and we're in the stall doing key bumps and i'm like oh. this is this is the least awkward i've ever felt going into the bathroom with another guy because Everybody, nobody batted an eye. Oh, you're like, safe. Yeah. You yeah. actually, you actually looked like pikers just yeah. doing blow. We, it was, really, that's it. It was so comfortable. We went <laughs> back again. <laughs> so uh, I get called in for one of those key bumps. When I no. called you guys, and I realized I called Doug to say like, "Hey, this is what's going on here." Yeah, there's very the green room is a postage stamp. It's nothing. There's no one in there. And Doug's like. No, this is great. We're having fun over here. <laughs> Just say, how long how long will it take to, like for you to come get us? I'm like, I think you can walk. Alex says like three minutes walking, which takes longer driving because I have to do U-turns and move around. I'm like, God damn it. I want to go over there. <laughs> and we're all dressed up. Oh, I mean, everyone yeah. on the show, fucking Andy's in his leisure suit that I loaned oh. him. I hope he didn't shit my pants. Bingo was a fucking fantastic hit in the oh, gay bar. With the high oh. collar, Queen of Hearts, yes. uh, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah, yeah. I kept seeing her being stopped everywhere. I was like, that's fucking fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I did not get approached in the gay bar at all. I was glad of that. You're the one doing the approach. You were with your wife. <laughs> oh, that's true, too. Yeah, we were over in the non-gay area. <laughs> <laughs> we did find a section. Thank God. <laughs> well, if it wasn't non-gay before, it was when we got That was there. the curious section. <laughs> <laughs> Chad said to be a, <laughs> I've never been in a gay bar before. Kenny's wearing that toupee. I <laughs> just fucking figured it out. I told you it was yeah. going to take. How long was You're it going to take? You the first person that to point fucking, it out the entire evening. That color match is fucking stunning, dude. All right, here's the thank yous, and I'm going to start with Vegas, and I'm definitely going to forget someone, but this is what I could come up with, and in no particular order. Brendan Walsh and Amanda, uh, Amandy Pants, the Beckers, Andy Andrist, Mamu and the Warlock, Neighbor Dave, Floyd, uh, Kelly Sheehan, been a while, uh, Joanne Savoy always comes with a bottle of top shelf vodka. God love you, and you had to put up with Inman. And Tom, by and Bibles. She and Bibles. Bring Bibles. She brings the Bibles. Tom Kanopka, the long lost Tom Kanopka. If you haven't got the book yet, you don't know who it is. It's available on hard uh, hard copy on Amazon, audible.com for the audio version. And uh, signed copies at dougstanhope.com. Signed copies at dougstanhope.com. Tom Kanopka, out of the, my old fucking comedy partner from telemarketing days before I did comedy. So fucking great to see him. If somebody hasn't gotten the audio book already, I pinned a tweet at the top of my Twitter thing. You can go and get a free the audio book for free. Oh, the free your download. First, if it's yeah. your first book, if you're not a member of Audible. Oh, at Audible. Yeah, All right, at very... HD Fatty. Yeah. I should have that pinned. Adrian uh, came out. She's still writing that book. Uh, Kerry Mitchell, uh, the Shanks, uh, Jay Kirshner, our wink, wink, nudge, nudge, uh, better call Saul attorney. <laughs> Just remembered him when you mentioned that. Holy Always shit. fantastic. Backdoor Mike showed up out of the blue. Uh, uh, 
uh, Norris, John Norris from the uh, Near, Near the, the Wild, Wild podcast. We did a swap cast that hasn't aired. It will. Uh, Dave Bernal and his wife, Mandel- uh, Andalin. Andalin oh, rhymes yep. with Mandolin. They were on a podcast when they lost their teddy bear here. Uh, and they, oh, uh, that was them? Yep. Yeah. That, I recognized them. I just didn't know who it was. Uh, yeah, I didn't know until later on. I she wasn't him. crying or clutching a teddy bear. But he's the one that tracked down Tom Kanopka <laughs> yeah. for me. Uh, Jen. Huh? Jen. Jen who? And, oh, Jen and Kenny. Sorry. Oh, Jen and Kenny oh. for taking care of the fun house while we were gone. Cleaning out rat traps. Now, the other part of the thank yous is the bulk of shit we've got. And I'll, I'll always forget someone. Uh, uh, stuff we got in the mail. Stephania Ponitz sent Bingo a beautiful letter about mental hospitals. And she sent this kaleidoscope thing. Rico sent me beer soap. Trevor Jones sent a copy of uh, Dig, the documentary. Good. Which, uh, it's a fucking great documentary about Brian Jonestown Massacre. And the Dandy Warhols. He also included some uh, like, uh, bootleg Gin Blossom stuff uh, on a CD. Bruce Bertner sent that giant package with the fucking garlic in it. I don't understand right. the garlic. I have to tell you, uh, he put post-it notes on a lot of stuff, but it was what I, I refer to as a loose load. Everything jostled around, and the post-it notes fell off. The garlic, there was garlic uh, Cloves. paper like everywhere in there. No, it was, but the paper was, it was yeah, like, The yeah, box was fucked up yeah, when I opened yeah, yeah. it. But it was, it was a mad Was there magazine. drugs in there? Was he trying to hide the smell of drugs? That's what I Did thought Did you look first. for drugs? Yeah. That's what I thought at first. <laughs> uh, but there was a 1969 copy of Mad Magazine. That still had to post it for Derek. Yeah. Uh, there was a Star oh, the, Trek watch. There was book. a ear cleaner. The uh, uh, Pablo Escobar story written by his brother called The Accountant's Story. There was a drumstick. There was a shoe shine. One kit. drumstick. One drumstick. And no uh, cowbell. What? Yes. Someone sent, I don't know if this is in the same package, a, a, a audio book on CD by a Terry Hatchett called The Dodger. Someone sent a copy of The Stand DVD. I don't know why. With no name. Uh, I think uh, Tracy and Chad have talked about. The, uh, I like it. Yeah, in the past on uh, the podcast yeah, we've done. I snatched it up whether yeah. it was for me or not. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Someone sent Chad a, a, a level, like a construction level. A nice laser level. Laser level. It's got, Obviously, a, it's got a bunch of stuff though, and he chicken, also it's got a chi- it's a chicken coop reference. I'm guessing. I would assume building his chicken coop. It's also the gavel during uh, Funhouse Court. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful lesbians that sent me an email saying, "Hey, are we going to be the only lesbians there?" Funny they weren't at the garage, but it was pretty dude heavy. I don't know how that works. Lesbian think, gay bars don't uh, usually mix sexes. It's I think there are bar. exclusive men and then female, which is odd that they would segregate. And then there's a kind of a commingling as well. I think lesbians just don't party that much. No, they do. They had a, at the garage. They had like a unisex bathroom that I walked into That's looking for they, Andy. And then they have <laughs> like once you're in there, they have like men's and women's. And I was like. Well, and then like a little uh, short lesbian lady came walking out of one of them, and I was like, "Whoa, sorry, where do where do I go?" Because I'm going, Andy. I'm yelling inside the bathroom, and then she's like, "There's a men's over there," so I had to leave and go down to the men's. But I didn't know how the bathroom. No, you didn't. I didn't know how the bathroom. You didn't have to. Were. Well, Demand your rights. Well, that's where Andy was with the blow, <laughs> so that's where I wanted. Well, to the be. lesbians, uh, Jennifer and Aaron, gave me a, a, a from d- Seattle. From Seattle, uh, it's uh, called Memos to Shitty People, a delightful and vulgar adult coloring book. So uh, we got a coloring book of uh, 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 sh- memos to shitty people. Yep. And that's, uh, am I forgetting anyone? Obviously I am. Oh, There's shit. a lot you, of fucking you had, people you, there. You grabbed all of, uh, everything was in a pile here when I got here, so I, don't, I didn't take any notes. All right, well, there's the thank yous. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, uh, oh, and the toupee that Kenny's wearing. That also came in the box <laughs> oh, yeah. with the garlic. Looks great. Yeah, see, it, it fits very well, too. I, I hope it is not pubic hair, please. Well, it had a lot of garlic paper in it. It doesn't. I just smelled Kenny's head. It doesn't smell like pubic hair or garlic. You're in good the, shape. The guy who sent that box, it was, it was it was really jostled around quite a bit. It had uh, an earwax removal system yeah, that had a uh, that double A batteries. He sent the batteries, the but who the fuck 
is going to put that in their ear. That's a, that was a used earwax removal system. Kenny did. Oh, did you do it? Kenny did. Really? <laughs> no, I, Kenny did it. I didn't do it. I think it's missing attachments. I didn't do it, though. And, and did you realize that there's no suction on the it's end? It's been used. And I ran in and washed my hands as soon as I realized it's been used. <laughs> did you wash your ear? I didn't put it in my ear. I put it in Derek's ear. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this. Anybody got a straw? Bye. Bye. Um, basically what happened after I woke Inman up from a drunken, I don't know, it's like waking up a fucking giant baby. I mean, or a baby giant, I mean. Anyway, so uh, I got him kind of wound up, my bad, and we were trying to get him out, and then he freaks out, and then the security comes, and the sheriff comes, and we get escorted downstairs of the hotel, and these guys were not fucking around, and they were really, really kind of, um, they were mean to me. They were mean to Warlock. They were not having any of it. Anyway, so we finally get Inman in the car. <clears throat> to which, I mean, they were they were right next to the car. They came, and they walked us basically almost all the way to the car. Anyway, so we got James in, and then my my phone rings, and my phone is connected by Bluetooth to my car. So... Uh, it's it's Stanhope, and then of course James, like being like a giant baby, starts screaming at Stanhope through the speakers or whatever. And then so I have to, I tried to think fast because I didn't want Doug, Doug doesn't know that he's on speakerphone, so I have to like immediately I hung up on him, like quote unquote accident, like oopsie, what they do. And then I hand my phone to the Warlock, and then he calls Doug back, and I'm turning off the Bluetooth. Oh my God, that man is so smart. And has a conversation with front with him, and then I look at I look at Warlock in my rearview mirror, and he kind of holds up his tablet, and I know I'm like, oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we tried to take pictures earlier. We tried to get, um, we even tried to like get some video of this whole mess, but our phones were not cooperating. So anyway, so Warlock got it on his tablet, and this is the ride to the airport. There's, I think, some sincere moments in it where I tell James uh, he did hurt my feelings. He said some really mean things to me. Um, you can hear us arguing probably about not going to go get his Xanax. And then, um, of course, my dog Ruby passed away um, just like the day before we came to Vegas. And um, James was kind enough to do his little Tibetan prayers for her so that we get her in the next life. And that's what turns me around as far as that goes. I so, okay, we get his annex. But anyway, so um, there's James yelling at me and um, telling me that Doug Stanhope is raping me. I know, honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, he fucked you on that movie. Tell me how that happened. I don't really get Trust me. I don't know anything about the movie. I really don't. So just, you've got to uh, dumb all it down movie. for me. Basically, fuck this. But how? How many you He had nothing to do with that other than being with me. Put us all together. I don't know what happened. Is there. Are oh, you yeah, calling you... Doug? No. Call him. I will. I it will. went straight to voicemail. Okay, here. Let me call him. Okay, try. I'll try again. But, babe, will you pay for a little bit of gas? Just put like $10 in there. Yeah. yeah. No, you're not paying for gas. Oh, like... don't give me shit like I don't have money. I know you have money, but you don't have to pay for our gas. It's from it from Here. Everywhere. All right. Can you put this 20 in the car, honey? Thank you. Give me that phone. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. He's got it. One second. What? Oh, shit. I'm sorry if I upset you. I did not know about the chat or chat. Well, and Andy Jenny. and I were trying to buy some blow. I mean, that would have been fun. 
I had no idea about Chad and Jenny. I just, he was, he was, you know, real quick to me on the phone, like, you've got to get James to the airport. His flight leaves, blah, 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 blah. he's sober enough to drive, get him to the airport. I said, okay, I'm going to do it. So okay. I, oh, sorry. So it was my interpretation. And I then thought how I did those cops get there? Well, I don't know. I didn't. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, can't sleep on the floor. <sighs> on the fucking floor last night. Sorry, man. You were I mean, the no, night before. Were, yeah, I was saying, uh, the night before I slept on the floor. Okay. Go to the Shaley must have called those cops. Somebody uh, called those cops. Wait, proceed Maybe. to the highlighted route, really then the route guidance will start. I can't imagine. That's water, honey. Do you want my tram at all? It's a painkiller. I want my Xanax. I know you do. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you could easily go back. I never. No, I can't. You could go back James, there and you, you could said, get it for me. I can't. Justin said that he would go get it for you, but then you said, no, I'm. Uh, you go no, get go it. No, go get it. You can't go get it. No, you go get it. I'm not going to go get it. I'm not walking back up there. I have rheumatoid arthritis, so I'm fucking in a lot of pain. I'm not doing and shit. So, Justin can do it, but he... Yeah. Justin, you can... I, I, I identified it as mine. I wonder, Dude, my my bottle of Xanax is up there. No in way. the bathroom. You remember leaving? Yeah, you could easily go up there and get it. My plane doesn't leave till twelve thirty. Yeah. James or Justin, just run up there. I'll just park in the thing. Just run up there, run back down, and I'll meet you downstairs. Okay. All right. Okay. That's if I good. hear any fucking hint of you being fucking violent towards her again, dude, there's more problems. Okay. Are we I can't good? leave you alone with her. Fuck off. Fuck off yourself, Wait, fucker. No, come on, we're not doing this. Let's stop Jesus it, please. Jesus Christ. You don't talk to him that way, James. Don't talk stop to my it. fucking woman the way you have. Don't talk to me the oh way you have. Oh my God, you two. Stop. That is it. We're going to the fucking airport. Oh, Had come it. on. Get my Xanax. No. no. Oh Love my you. God. I can't believe this. I can. You're going to tell him to fuck Wait, off? You don't know who's in charge. Oh my God. You're playing the wrong game, James. Oh my God! You're Why would you not do lady? this? Because you are an asshole right now. I'm not. Yes, you I are. I would do the same thing for you. No, you wouldn't. Not yes, if I, I treat would. You like garbage. If Fuck you, no. if you didn't get my Xanax, if, you... if I didn't get your Xanax, I would fucking go back and get it. I did. I would do. I did Tibetan I prayers you for your dog today. I know. I know you. I did an hour's oh, worth of Tibetan prayers for your dog God today. Damn it, Ruby. Yeah. All right. You win this time, James. Justin, you go up there and get those pills if they're there. And take a picture of the bathroom as you find it. So we know... It's a bottle of Tylenol. That it's it's there got or it's Xanax not. in it. Okay? Please and it's right by the... Okay. It's okay. right by the sink. Hey, pull into the little circle roundabout thing in Where's the front. That? In yeah, the, yeah, like I'm the loading do. place. I will. That's what I'm going to do. That'll be quicker than me taking that dumbass elevator. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. You're or even, go, right? even the bay by the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The bay? The, by the Greyhound. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll pull right in there. Okay? Yep. Got it. <sighs> All right. I'm not a dick. I know. Well, you're being a real weirdo right now. I don't know what's wrong with you. Because you are just melting down, and it's not nice. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You've been rude to me. You've been rude to Justin. you yelled at me. So he woke me up and said, you have to get out of here. Next one. Oh, the next one, right. You yelled at me. The, I mean, it was crazy. Oh, I didn't know why. I just didn't know what was going on. Right. I didn't know if you guys got in an argument or what happened. Yeah, he's going to... Okay, you have to put your seatbelt on because my fucking shit's bugging out. Yeah. Proceed just go up there and be the careful. Okay. Wait, seriously. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's up there by the sink. Uh, it's a bottle of towel. Uh, it's got some sand. The sink by the bedroom or the other sink? Uh, it's a sink in the bedroom that I was sleeping okay. in. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a bottle of towel. And it's got some sand in it. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to grab my phone. Here, honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> All right. Let me. Got a fucking I'll meet you right this. back here. Childproof. Where's my. I can't get oh, out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Where's my. Board? Leave it with me. You have. Phone. Oh, yeah. You have it. Okay. My phone. Oh. 
Hey, where's the phone? He's giving it to me, honey. I got it. All right. Love you. Everything will be fine. Just go get it. If it's there. Okay? It's in there. Trust me. Everything's fine. Uh, you have the key? Yep, it's right here. Sorry. I'll be right here, okay? Yeah. Okay, bye, hun. Shaley must have called us security. That was um, a fucking dick move. I don't think she did. Somebody did. Because we weren't that loud, and there's no one on that floor. There is nobody on that floor. How do you know? Because we know. We know. We fucking, me and Andy know. There's nobody on that floor. There's no one else on that floor. There's no, um, there's no, um, there's no maids on that floor. That's true. Mm. Trust me, I mean, I'm more of your friend than Doug. Oh, friend. hi, I'm so sorry. I, I'm taking my friend to the airport, and my husband, he left some medication that he has to have for his plane. My husband ran up to go get it, and he's coming right back down. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Him. No, I'm tired of it. I don't want to talk to him anymore. I want to talk to him. For what? I don't want you to talk Because he's my friend. No, talk what do you mean, no? you guys when you're not yelling anymore. I can't handle it, James. Please stop. Oh, my God. I can't handle the stress anymore. Please leave me alone. Oh I'm just God. trying to help you. Please stop. Just you want to help? help I'm just, James, honestly. You want to help I'm me and you're trying not to... calling Doug? No, just because I don't do everything you want. I have called him several times now, and I'm done. Please just stop it. I can't take this anymore, honey. I just can't. Please, 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 James, have some pity on me. That's I just cunt. okay. I don't care. I, I don't know. You, you still, you still movie. haven't explained to me how that happened. Uh, trust I mean, me. how? But I do trust you. So tell me, break it down for me. What happened? The the movie. How did he fuck anybody? What did he not do? What did he agree to do and then not do? That's what I don't know. You get it? James, I swear to God, it's in your bag. I can hear him. It's not there? It's Yeah, it's right by the... Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, here you go, baby. Okay. Pop a couple of those. <sighs> there we go. We're good. Everybody got seatbelt? Was that yeah. right? Yeah, it was behind your box, babe. Yeah, was that right? Oh, that's why we couldn't see it. It was behind my box. I was right, wasn't I? Do you want tram at all, too? That's Nice little painkiller. Yeah. Let's not There's security again. Let's good. get out of here. Okay. Yeah, Shaley called knew. security. How would Shaley know what's going on? Somebody called security. Yeah, somebody did. Yeah. He said we were coming, we came when the hell was raised. 
right? I can't find the lid. Shut the channel? You lost it already? It's got to be right there somewhere. It's not in, in between. I can see there. Okay. I have an empty pill bottle if you want. Ugh. on this movie constantly. He's been fucking Just, us. you still have yet to explain in what terms, like how. Like, how um, he never tweets about it. He never talks about it. It's, it's, it's a long bullshit thing with lawyers involved. Lawyers? Yeah. How uh, lawyers involved? Lawyers are involved arguing about contracts and stupid shit because people want to make money off the unbook holes, off the movie. Yep. Jeff and Doug and his lawyer and Doug's lawyer, Jeff's lawyer. Okay, it was Doug's Whatever. Oh my god. I just like, oh my god. Oh, I just want to be dead. I'd rather be dead. Why? Oh my god, because Doug is a cunt. No. Yeah, Doug is a cunt. I can't talk like this. It's yeah, he's going to put that shit on his fucking podcast. I told Shaylee to just erase it and he wouldn't. No, he won't. Yeah, he won't because he's a cunt. No, I don't Shaylee's understand why cunt you, you talked. Why would well, you be I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, we're it's recording. He could erase it. He could easily. Yeah, but you knew what you said. Oh, d- d- oh my God. And you uh, knew you were being recorded. Why and if I said, if I said, look, I don't know if I want this on there. Um, he could easily just not put it on there. Right, but you already, you knew that you were being recorded. You've got to be responsible for yourself. Oh, stop it. It's you true. sound like my dad. It's true, though. You've got I to... am responsible for myself. Then don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Ex- exit 76A. Um, yep. Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> talked about the info calls. Okay. But I didn't hear any bad stuff. What happened? Like, what What are you, what don't you want on the uh, least? What are you worried about? What did you say that is bad? <sighs> Just tell me. Doug is not helping us at all with the movie. He's not helping us one fucking bit with the movie. When does he have to? When, when he, is he supposed to? He's the producer of the movie. Okay. It's his idea. Doug and me okay. came up with the idea, and he's not helping us with the idea. After we made the movie, right. he's not doing shit at all he wasn't to help us with getting the idea. the idea help enough? Like, him helping help with the idea? Like, okay, I did it. I came up what with else? the idea. Okay, so what else do you want him to do? You want I don't know. Tweet about it. Right. Say it's a good movie. Seven years ago. He's busy. He's oh, he's on. too busy he to say it's a good movie. Listen, when you only got oh, you don't think it's a good movie. movie. I think it's great. It's oh, fine. you do. Yeah. So then, great. why won't Doug say it's a good movie? Maybe he doesn't like. It. Well then, know. fuck Doug. I've never talked if to him. If Doug about doesn't it. like the movie, I, then fuck I Doug. I like the new yeah, edit. Yeah, fuck Doug. Obviously, I like the new edit better. Than oh the my god. But it's, it's all it's alright. He's jealous. A lot of people really love. Like yeah. him. Whatever. No, he's not jealous. No, he's not jealous. No, really. no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe he's mad that somebody took his what he his name for us. The word he coined was, you know, taken by another director and not the director he picked. That that name was he taken. He picked the director. I introduced Jeff to Doug I, and I don't Brian. Think, I don't think. I don't think. I that introduced that was, Doug and. Brian to Jeff. Doug was never in charge of this movie. 
Yes, he was. I didn't understand. I never, re I never was told that. I've never heard that. Yeah, well, now you His know. His influence was minimal. Really? You, you just said, yeah, like, well, I'm with telling him. you to your face. He came up with the idea? That oh, I didn't know that. Doug fully knew that it was called The Unbookables and we were making the movie. And maybe at the time he was like, all right, if you guys want to do that. Oh, Jesus. Right? Uh, but that's. Oh and God. you guys did it. But I don't, so he doesn't oh. want to be involved in that. Oh my god, oh my god. Right? You're not my friend. But okay. yeah, you're Sorry. friends. Um, oh. I would take you to the airport. I would do, I would fucking I touch you prayers for a dog. I, I would do anything for you. I love you. And I swear to god, you can't even accept the fact I don't that, know. that you're, you're basically saying to me that movie that you're in, you don't yeah. give a flying fuck. If well, I, you know, once the thing is made, I did care, I do care, but I mean, like, I don't have what's, I don't have everything that's invested in it like you do. I mean, well, like, it's like, you so, know what I mean, thanks. like, thanks. I just don't, honey, it's thanks. like, I don't have Right, and everyone made fun level. of me through the whole movie, everybody oh. made, everyone always makes fun of me. Well, a clown can never be a king, I don't know. So everyone, and I have to go through uh, all this shit. You made a really good movie, and I don't think that. And why don't you tell Doug that? Okay, I, I will. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I could, I could pay for that hotel room. I got money so in my pocket. Chad Shank. Whatever. Get another hotel room for 29 bucks. And somebody called the fucking security. And that was Shaley, probably. Yeah, whatever. You, somebody listen, called. If I find out who did it, and it's somebody that we know, I will tell you. Yeah. Matter, I know, but I, if I find out that it was for sure, give me your phone. I'll call Shaley right now. <laughs> I have his number. No. Oh no! Why not? Why can't I call Shaley? No I don't Stan care. Hope I mean, loves you, can, you. you can hang up. Stanhope loves you, but Shaley. 
Yeah. Don't talk Give to me your me. phone no, number. No, no, Give no, no, phone. no. Leave me alone. No. I'll Stop call it. him when I get home. Okay, you call him when you get home. Somebody called security. Doug knew you were yelling, but I don't think he really cared. Right, yeah. He okay, called so which one is important? Spirit, we're in it. Your destination is the You're in the line. I'm in the line. I'm in. Okay. Looks like it, right? Or maybe the next one over. Well, I don't know. Which one? Doug is looks... missing T1. Okay. I'm not going to make it on that plane. Yes, No, I'm not. It's not to. that big of a deal. Okay. I think you can. It's a direct flight. It's not that big of a deal. All right. God. You have arrived at your destination. The route guidance is now finished. I can't believe you took John and Xanax and you're still upset. Oh, you because and you're because still mad. dog is a cunt. Oh. Dog and Shaylee are both cunts. You don't understand that. I do not understand that. That has not been my experience with either one of them. Both no. of them talked to me like I'm a fucking idiot. And I created what that movie. What happened? They had so much. You guys were having yeah. so much fun today. What the fuck happened? Because they're cunts. No. No. Yeah. What really happened? They're cunts. What? Oh, you trying to answer my question. They're not just cunts. What happened today? I snapped Everything on fine. dog on the podcast about the unbookables. You did. And I told Shaylee to erase the fucking podcast, and he said he wouldn't. No, I know he wouldn't. He never yeah, would. so it was a cunt. He's a so cunt. That was a, that, there was an argument. They're both, they're both cunts. There was an argument. Though. Yeah. Doug and Shaylee are both cunts. Okay. So, so you know that. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I know you're upset. Sorry. 
Yeah. Thanks for taking my son. I mean that sarcastically. <laughs> You're gonna have to call me and make it sense. No, sense. I'm not gonna call you or Doug or anybody. And when you call, I'm not gonna answer the phone. Yes, you are. I love you. I don't care if you're mad at me. Okay, come on. We did it. We did it. Come on. Let's go. I think Doug did call security. I'm sure. I hope so. Because he offered a helping hand if I need help. Yeah. Okay, can you get in front? Yeah. I just want to make sure that he's through the doors and not walking back. Good. Okay, let's go. This is the water, my water. He drank out of it. He threw it away from Rebecca. Please, please, please. Sorry. Let's do it later. I don't want to get out anymore. Okay, okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay, look at that. <gasps> go get happening here. Okay. And that's all, folks.